we are fortunate that COVID-19 has spared the children uh, compared to adults. Uh, the numbers uh, show that uh, about less than 5% of the total infections happen in children below 17 years of age when we look at worldwide. And uh, the Indian data shows about 8% of the total infections are happening in children below 17 years. First of all, it is very difficult clinically to distinguish between COVID-19 infection and other respiratory viral infections or the respiratory allergies in children. COVID being a primarily respiratory virus again has many similarity with other uh, respiratory viral infections. But yes, there are a few clinical indicators which might suggest uh, the chances of COVID-19 infection being higher compared to others. Uh, one very important uh, indicator is the uh, grade of fever. Uh, the fever tend to be much higher in grade in COVID-19 compared to the normal cough, cold or flu. But on the other hand, we should also remember that only about 40 to 60 percent children with COVID-19 have fever. So the absence of fever itself also cannot rule out COVID-19. So many of the children are asymptomatic. But yes, when they do have symptoms, fever is the predominant one. Followed by other respiratory symptoms. And in the respiratory symptoms, one uh, noticeable uh, thing is that the nasal symptoms, that is nasal stuffiness and nasal discharge and the throat symptoms, that is the scratchiness of the throat or the throat pain are a bit less than the other respiratory viral infections or the allergies. On the other hand, gastrointestinal symptoms that is uh, vomiting, diarrhea, they tend to be much more common in uh, COVID-19 compared to other uh, cough cold or the allergies. But again, I would like to emphasize that uh, whether it's presence or absence of any particular signs or symptoms do not uh, qualify for uh, inclusion or exclusion of COVID as a diagnosis especially in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. So, if your child has fever, cough, cold, any difficulty in breathing, not feeding well, or is appearing uh, sleepy even during uh, the awake time, is uh, having uh, repeated vomiting or loose stools. These are the general signs of illness when you should uh, consult your pediatrician. But uh, again, they are not very specific for COVID-19 itself. Uh, but they may uh, indicate a need for testing for COVID-19 in your child. If at all your child uh, test gets tested positive for COVID-19 virus, the treatment depends on the severity of the illness. Fortunately, most of the children are asymptomatic, that means they do not have any symptoms or they have a very minimal symptoms uh, such as fever, mild cough, cold. And very few actually uh, would qualify for hospital admission. So first of all, if your child is asymptomatic or is minimally symptomatic, in that case, the management will be at home where the child should be kept separated from the other uh, family members. Ensure good hydration. The child should take normal uh, food and uh, drinks. Do daily temperature monitoring and at least alternate day consultation, specifically teleconsultation with your pediatricians who can check the uh, vital parameters and advise you accordingly. It is when the child has symptoms of pneumonia such as difficulty in breathing or in uh, bigger children if they complain of heaviness in chest, if the child is not able to eat or drink, is appearing sleepy, excessively sleepy even when uh, they were awake or is having a repeated loose stools or vomiting, they should be admitted in the hospital.